Hi, my name is Jake Smith. I'm a custom motorcycle and car builder, and I also do a lot of various forms of artwork. Um, we're here in my home shop in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I'm trying to start a video blog that will be supportive of artists and the art community. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that it'll be audience-driven content that I can do a little bit of how-to, both for how to make a living as an artist and how to actually create pro projects and build a little bit of a community. So this will be the first of hopefully many videos um, that will be driven by questions that you guys ask me about what you want to see and a chance for me to kind of check in with people out on the internet and show off the projects that I'm working on progress that I'm making and share a little bit about some some different art pieces that are working for me and sort of how I'm making a living um, on a day-to-day -day basis as an artist and as a creative person um, basically feeding my family off of what I can make with my hands so this is my smaller home shop I also build cars in a custom car shop four days a week which gives me a lot of opportunities to take on higher end projects and provide steady income to support some of what I do here and just to make it a little bit easier. But I'll do a quick walkthrough of my shop here. Totally raw and unclean, but here's a 87 Sportster that's getting cut up. This is a backyard bench that um, in the midst of creating, getting pretty close to doing finish welding and finishing off the legs. This is a 1990 GS500. I've been working on the, the paint and um, I completely rebuilt the frame for it. So motorcycles are where a lot of my skills as an artist have come from. And it's allowed me to branch into a variety of other creative areas and if you start following me on Instagram at made by Jake underscore or on Facebook facebook.com slash Jake ultra violence you can see a lot more of my art pieces and day-to-day -day stuff I've also been getting into pinstriping I've been doing a lot of these custom baseball bats lately um, I've had a lot of luck with the sort of one to three hundred dollar range projects um, where it's good weekly income, but it's enough that uh, it's small enough that people impulse buy it. So the project that I have just finished up this afternoon that I'd like to share with you is a 1899 Singer Treadle sewing machine that I've completely uh restored customized and repainted um i've got that outside so we've got some good natural light so i'll go ahead and uh walk you out there right now so this is the 1899 singer treadle sewing machine that i recently just finished this is actually a commission piece i've been working on for several months um, i bought the machine in functional but pretty poor finish condition. Um, if you're familiar with these machines, you'll know that they have a very broad wood tabletop that hides the machine inside of it. So I actually fabricated this tabletop um, from steel and then I did automotive style paints on it. Um, the black base and then I added uh, variegated gold leaf accents which I outlined by hand um, with some red one-shot paint. The, uh, the customer uh, who commissioned it has a special love for poppies and hummingbirds. So I did a lace style background with some floral designs that are fairly subtle and then really bold poppies and hummingbirds throughout it. Um, the turn of the century manufacturing actually incorporated a lot more wood and I've gotten rid of the wood and entirely and they actually originally made this linkage back here was a piece of wood 
and it would just rub and would go up and down, and that's how your machine operates. Um, in the 1920s, they switched to a steel style with a ball bearing mechanism in here, um, but I custom machined a brass bushing and a housing for it for it to work with the original 1899 foot pedal. And it really moves smoothly and nicely. It's gonna be probably one of the nicest running sewing machines of that era now. So, I've sewed on it a little bit and I'm gonna try to do a few stitches for you right now. See how smooth and nicely it's running. And it's making a nice even stitch. Very easy to guide. And I'm running it with one foot right now with very little effort. I'll get going on a straight here and see how fast we can get it done. And I wouldn't want to sell much faster than that. And I'm really not exaggerating that much effort. So. Very happy with the way this project came out and um, ready to start boxing it up and ship it off to the client. So hopefully this video has been a little bit of uh, good information for you and uh, please comment below and let me know what other things you'd like to see, what you're interested in. And I'll do my best to provide good content. And again, please reach out to me on social media as well. I'm active on Instagram under at made by Jake with an underscore on the end or facebook.com slash Jake ultra violence. And feel free to just add me as a friend. If you just follow me, I don't really have much of a way to reach out to you. So it's, uh, it's good if we're all connected and we can build a little bit of a community that informs each other's work. So thank you so much and hopefully I'll see you next time.